let's uh, see what we got in the box. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what Stratomatic brought us. Nice shipping. Uh, like I said, I ordered it Monday. Came on Friday. So, just a few days there. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it's just nothing else in the box. Put that aside. Now, um, let's see what you guys can guess. Now, I'm a big fan of uh, 90s sports, you know. So, uh, with APA, the only 90s season they have in this sport is uh, 1998. And uh, I'm a real big fan of this particular season. And I don't have, I do not use these car, these rubber bands anymore. I, getting rid of those I'm going to uh, envelopes but I got this season on the uh, PC game of football and um, I, I saw the card set wasn't that expensive it was like 25 bucks I think but it was only the six teams so this is the 1990 and or 1992 NFL season um, reason I got this was uh, in 1992 I went to quite a few Steeler games and I was really uh, that was the first year of Bill Cower in Pittsburgh here and uh, they had a really exciting team because they had not they have been pretty uh, down and out for a few years and um, Cower came in and replaced Chuck Knoll and uh, he did a great job, and he fired up this team, and they uh, they did pretty good. They lost to Buffalo in the uh, playoffs, but I just remember um, you know, I was a senior at Pitt or a junior, and I was uh, you know hanging out, and we were watching the games every Sunday, and uh, I was going to games. You know, I was getting tickets from some people I knew, and I was actually going to a few games there at the Three River Stadium. And uh, it was a good time, so uh, I wanted the uh, good memories of these uh, players and teams. So we got Dallas and Buffalo. Uh, you have the Saints. You got the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, you got the Pittsburgh Steelers. One nice thing I liked about this season was uh, they uh, Bobby Brister was like a symbol of mediocrity in Pittsburgh, and. Uh, they finally, during the 92 season, gave up on Bobby Brister, the quarterback, and they went to Neil O'Donnell, who I loved. I thought he was awesome. And uh, so he, he wasn't that great of a season, Neil O'Donnell, but he uh, it was almost like a half a season he played. But he threw for 2,200 yards, 13 touchdowns. And uh, their key player for this season was Barry Foster. He was really, uh, really good. He ran for 16, 1,690 yards. Merrill Hodge. So, yeah, you can see Bobby Brister uh, attempted 116 passes. So, they kind of, like, gave up on him, like, a third of the way through the season. And then Neil O'Donnell led him to the playoffs. It was our first time in a while. So, it's exciting. Be fun playing them. Uh, San Francisco. So I think this is Steve Young at this point. Yeah, Joe Montana's still in there. 71% completion rate. As I strap, uh, football's fun. I mean, it's not my fate. It's not my number one uh, football game. I like Gappa number one. But like I said, Appa, I wish they would sell like this, this 92 season. I would have bought it from them, but this is, and, uh, you know, cards and dice football is very, it's a very, uh, odd game. Um, you know, PC may be the way to go when you're playing football games, like Pro Strategy Football, that new one, which is pretty awesome. 
Um, cards and Lights football takes a long time to play. I don't care how you slice it. Uh, you have to look at it like almost like you're playing four baseball games when you play Cards and Lights football. And uh, it's really it's tough to stream. You know, I've actually if you look at my videos, you know, I've tried to put videos out on it, and uh, yeah, I couldn't do a whole big game on one video. It'd be like a uh, you know, two three hour video. Uh, I'm sure if I buckle down and it's, you know, it's focus, I could probably get a game in within like maybe two hours, maybe a little bit less. But cards and dice football is very fun, but it's it takes a while. So unless you have a flow going, um, yeah, I even tried other sports. You could see other game companies like Inside Blitz. Um, but like I said, we'll, we'll uh, I'm gonna enjoy this, reminisce about these players. We'll perforate those teams and we'll have fun with that. So let's go to uh, the next box here. So we got an official unboxing. This is definitely a Kirk Berglund certified unboxing. I mean, you got like the tape on this and everything. So. Let's see what we got from Replay. This is going to be, a, I, I guarantee you guys are going to say, huh, why the hell would you buy that when you open this? And I'm going to laugh because there's reasons for it. And I don't know why. Um, you guys could probably relate to this. Sometimes, sometimes just one season just gets under your craw. Or one game, one season, and you have to have it. And I know you guys out there have experienced that. And it's like you just get you get your mind set on one season and you just can't stop. And I actually have this season for APA. I have it for APA's computer game. And I even have um the computer game of this game. But now I, I wanted the cards and dice. So let's take a look at what we got here. And I'm pretty fired up for this. Like I said, I guarantee you guys are going to say, like, oh, what a crappy season. Why would you guys, why would you spend your money on that? But let's see what we got. Let's let, let's, let's have fun. Pete always sends a nice little, you know, thank you, Jill. Ah, but well we got the, I'm sure you guys can almost see it here. But there's, a, there's a re, I think this season is actually fun to play. And I got the 2020 COVID season for replay games in full set. Why would you buy this? Why would anyone in their right mind buy this crappy season? Who wants to remember the cutout fans, the empty stadiums, the the weird rules, the pitch, the ghost runners, which they're still doing now. Um, who wants to remember anything about that COVID season? All those people, you know, getting COVID. I got COVID three times, and I, I'm still here. But anyways, that's not here or there. Um, this season is pretty fun. Um, there was a lot of things you could do with this. First of all, it's a short season. It's only like 60 games. So if you wanted to replay a team's entire season, you could easily do it. Um couple other things you could do you could finish you could play the whole season even on the pc game it'll let you replay the entire 162 to see all played out with uh these cards and all these cards are kind of wacky and there's some really crazy players in here but uh, this season is so intriguing there was uh I, and what i did i actually had the top nine set for this so i'm actually going to try to sell that or maybe give that to somebody um, I had the top nine 2020 replay. When I got that in 2021, I uh, replayed, uh, I did a tournament of a 23 game tournament of each team with 2020. And it was super fun. Um, the actual, uh, the Braves and the Dodgers met in the finals and the Dodgers beat them in seven games, uh, championship series at the very end. And uh, the, the pitching is like lights out. So let's see what we got here. I should point out some cards. Uh, one card I think is pretty interesting is this JD Martinez on uh, Boston. You, know, you think of him being awesome, but look at his uh, stats. He only batted like 213. 
you know, he still had seven home runs and 211 at bats, but that's not like JD Martinez, you know. Uh, you have Bobby Dahlbacks in there, 80. They're really weird at bats. Like the max uh, at bats you can see these guys have is like around 200, 220 at bats. So. Couple good seasons in here. I remember there's one guy in the uh, on the Dodgers. He was really good. Another one, another uh, underperformer that got like a superstar guy that's underperforming was uh, Jose Altuve. So looking at the Astros, it was kind of crazy, like playing a, a tournament with Jose Altuve. Look how bad a season he had: 219 with five homers and 192 at bats. So you're rolling this tournament, and you're thinking, oh, okay, who's able two bays up? And this guy's, like, terrible. So you get a lot of that, where, like, you have some guys that are still really good. Like, in this Houston, they were pretty good in that tournament. I remember Cal Tucker was really good. Let's look at him. But anyways, that was a fun tournament. And it was, like, a 200-some game tournament. And, uh... It was, a, it was a blast. So I always I reminisced about that tournament playing all the time. I said, I wish I could get the other you know, years of that season. Where is that guy? Yeah, Kyle Tucker wasn't too bad. Uh, 512 slugging, 325, 9 homers, 209 at bats. Eight stolen bases. So, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Let's check and see if Toronto had uh, has their uh, Buffalo Stadium. That'd be kind of cool if they had that that solid field when they played in Buffalo. I think in 2020, that'd be super cool if Pete did a solid field. I bet. You, oh, he did do it. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. So Pete even did like that solid field where Buffalo played the Triple A Stadium, or Toronto played. That is so cool. How many game companies are going to do that? Truist Park. PNC Park. I don't know if they let fans in that entire year there. It's kind of crazy, so... Anyways, uh, that's the game. Um, so that'll be going away. Um, the collection's kind of getting complete uh, because there's really not a lot of stuff I'm interested in buying. I do have an Apple order coming in here pretty soon. But you know, I go to these game company sites, and there's pretty much... Uh, I have pretty much everything I want to play for the rest of my life. And um, I do kind of like the new sets when they come out, but... You know, it's uh, it's tough for storage too. You run out of space. Like I'm, I'm running a little bit tight on my space here, so I gotta kind of watch like what I'm buying because I know I have space for this. You know, these two things I got, but we'll see how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna try to splice these uh, videos together here, hitting that uh, first part of the video where I hit uh, the the close button there uh, mistakenly, but. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be back. Um, busy weekend this weekend. Again, I got my daughter's going to homecoming tomorrow. We're volunteering at the football game and parade tomorrow morning. But I'll still be getting some games in and uh, enjoying uh, watching you guys. I wish I could join in with your chats and things you guys do at night. I'm in bed by like 8.39 sleeping. So you guys are up doing these uh, nightly chats. I wish I could you know, jump in and join. But I'm a... Uh, early riser so have a great day thanks for watching and um hope you guys have a good day bye-bye see ya